Hi boys and girls. This is a review of how to put your stems on. I'm actually going to start back at last week's lesson with the ledger line notes. Remember we learned that if the note is above the B line, your stem has to go down on the left side. If it's below the B line, it has to go upwards on the right side. So, this ledger line note is above that B line. It goes down on the left. This one, below the B line. It goes up on the right. And remember, all ledger line notes go to the B line. Then we learned how to put our stems on regular notes, or notes that are in the staff, which include the D that touches the E line and the G that touches the F line. This D is below B, same rules, up on the right, but now letter to letter, from itself to itself. So when I put my stem up on the right, I go from the D that it is to the very next every good boy deserves D line. This one is above B, so it goes down on the left. From the G that it is, down to the every good G line. This one is an A. It's below B. My stem goes up on the right from A to where F, G, A would be. This one is above the B line, an F. Stem has to go down on the left from F to F. Remember B is the wild card though. So we also learned that when we have a note on B, you get to choose. Which way it goes depends on whether or not you have mostly stems up or down and whatever way you're going to put your stem on so that it's easy for the musician. So you decide whether it's going to go up or down. Don't do both. And don't do this. Ledger lines aren't for the top of your stems. They're only for the note head so the musician can tell what letter. You don't have to add ledger lines to the ends of the stems. Now, this week, we learned how to put the stems on tied notes. And we had to write down these rules. If you need to pause at any time so that you can copy things, then do so. Just click the pause. Or, if you click in your screen, you should see a pause button come. And then you can come back and click it again, and it'll start to play. The three rules are, First, last glue, majority wins, and even equals you choose. So here how, here's how these work. If I'm going to do a Honda and both notes are below the B, it's easy. Same rule. Stems go up on the right and they go from F to F, A to A. Then I glue on my top and it makes an angle. In this Honda, both of those notes, the E and the C, are above the B line. So my stems are going to go down on the left, E to E, C to C, and when I glue them together, it creates the angle of a downward sound. On this Volkswagen, I had one F below the B, one A below the B, and one C above. Well, that's where the majority wins rule comes in. The majority of the stems have to go up, so they're all going to go up. I'm going to put my first one on F to F, my last one on C to C, glue it together, and then finish my stems and my double bars. I left this one unfinished so you can watch me do it, but this is the even rule. Two of them are above B, and they need to go down on the left. Two of them are below B, and they need to go up on the right. But if it's an even number of notes that has to go in either direction, you get to pick. You choose. Rule about first, last glue, though, I need to put my 
first one on, then my last one on, then glue them together and make all the other parts fit. Saving my double bar line for this Maserati for last. Let's do this one completely together. I have a D, which is above the B. I have a B, uh-oh, it's on the B. <laughs> a C above the B, and an A below the B. Well, what am I going to do now? Well, this is one more special thing. The way you have to see it, B is the wild card. You get to choose which way you want to think of B. I can say to myself, well, I think I want to look at B as an up one. So now I'll have two up and two down. I can think of B as a down one. Then I'll have three that are supposed to go down and one that's supposed to go up. I think I'll pick that way. And now that I've decided that, all three of these are supposed to go down and only one up, majority wins. And the way I'm going to do it, first, D to D, last, A to A, glue it together, make everybody else fit, and lastly, add on whatever double bars I need to have. Ta-da! What you don't want your notes to look like is this. You don't want to have one going up and one going down and then connect them like an EKG. And you don't want the funny tops of houses. If you follow these rules, always put your first guy on, your last guy on, then glue them together and make everything else fit. Always go with the majority wins and even ones got the same number of both you get to pick. Don't forget the wild card. You get to choose which way that one's going to be seen. Now for your assignment. I'm going to give you some sets of notes. I'll leave them on the screen as long as I can but you can hit pause. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets to do. The first three are Hondas an F and a G, an E and a C, a G and a C. Make sure that you copy those down onto your staff paper and put the names underneath so you can go back and put the stems on after. The next one is a Volkswagen. An A, a G, and an E. The next one, make it into a Cadillac. A C, an E, and a D. Then do a Maserati. A C, an E, an A, a G. And lastly, one more Maserati. An A, a G, watch out, a B, and a C. If you have to hit rewind, because of course that would have been very quick. These three. These two. Lastly, these two. Then go ahead and hit pause so that you can get all your notes on your staff paper. And that's what I'll be checking when I see you next time. Have a nice day, everybody.